Namaste, Miranam, Professor Hey, Apsi Milker, Hushi We. Hello, everybody. How are you? A special uh, shout out to um, to Shubham and his family. Uh, we will be praying for you and your recovery, and uh, and we hope all goes well. I have a uh, Bahut Badyaba video from uh, China Uncensored, and it's India capturing Chinese camps in border clash with a twist. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. India and China clash again at a disputed border. Things don't go well for Chinese troops. Welcome back to China Uncensored. I'm Chris Chappell. The India-China border conflict doesn't seem to be stopping anytime soon because India and China have faced off once again. According to the Indian Ministry of Defense, on the night of August 29th, the People's Liberation Army carried out provocative military movements to change the status quo. But Indian troops preempted this PLA activity and captured strategic heights. It happened here at Pangong Lake, which is in eastern Ladakh. Back in May, Indian and Chinese soldiers fought at this same lake. The lake is at the line of actual control the border along the disputed territory that India and China both claim. According to the Telegraph, this latest clash happened when around 500 Chinese troops had tried to cross into Spangur, a narrow valley near the village of Chushul, and three hours of hand to hand oh, three hours? ensued. Chushul is a village south of Pangong. Big hurting village. This is the first time that Chinese Vacation and spot soldiers off have that fought lake. on Tourism. the southern bank. According to reports, Chinese troops tried to cross the line of actual control. But those reports are wrong, obviously, because China never crosses the line, according to the Chinese foreign ministry. China has never proactively provoked any I am the foreign minister of we have lies. We or occupied an inch of other countries' land. In fact, China's border troops have always strictly observed the actual borderline. We've never crossed it. You know what? She's right. China has never crossed the line. They just move the line, like they did in the South China Sea. Which obviously means the Indian side is to blame for crossing the line that the Chinese military had so thoughtfully moved. India's actions seriously violated China's territorial sovereignty. We urge the Indian side to stop all kinds of provocations and immediately withdraw those personnel who illegally crossed the border. So what was India's serious violation? Well, apparently a retaliatory special operations battalion seized a Chinese camp in the surrounding hills wow. of Pangong Lake. Ooh, that's gotta hurt. Reports say that the Indian troops that seized the Chinese military post were part of the Special Frontier Force, also known as Vikas Battalion. They're a covert operations force that's largely made up of ethnic Tibetans. What? And I would assume that they are highly motivated to fight China's PLA. Was now, Pangong Airbenders came one out. of the yeah. areas where India and China yeah. take that again, dudes. On the yeah. exact location of the line of actual control, which means it's a great place for Chinese troops to try to move the borderline, which is what they successfully did back in May. After clashes on the north bank of the lake, Chinese soldiers occupied land that was previously patrolled by both sides, but not permanently occupied by either. And they started building roads in the area. Pangong Lake used to be a popular tourist area in India, but not anymore. Within the past few months, analysts said the Chinese have built observation towers, fortified bunkers, and two new marinas. Now this isn't new. We've talked about China's salami slicing strategy before, where they take small amounts of territory at a time, which worked great for them in the South China Sea. And locals in the region have complained for years that Chinese troops have been steadily nibbling away at Indian territory, taking over high altitude pasture land and blocking traditional herding routes, hmm. and that the Indian army knew about this and did nothing. But that's no longer the case as the Indian military's preemptive action last weekend shows. After the clashes back in May and June, 
Both India and China agreed to disengage their troops from the region. But India has accused China of not actually disengaging, which, given what happened over the weekend, seems like a fair concern. Both sides have now started another military dialogue to solve the situation. But the Chinese Communist Party is not used to having their salami slicing strategy called out and directly challenged on the ground. So the real question is, will the Indian military's actions stop China from moving the border on the line of actual control? We'll have to wait and see. And now is a time when I... Well, India, I'm going to give you a little, a little tip for you um, when it comes to negotiating with the Chinese. Uh, they are liars, and you know how you can tell they're lying? Their lips are moving. But I'm bump Yes, yes, thank you, thank you. I'll be here all week. Uh, thank you so much for watching. We'll catch you later. Peace and much love. I want to say, all the people, please subscribe, movie, community, college. God bless you, brother. Keep it up. You're making really, really great video. And please subscribe my CWV YouTube channel too. God bless you. Thanks for supporting the me. I love you. Your name really, really very Inuit, Inuit professor.